Okay, currently on my way to what looks like a pretty interesting interchange. Um, I've just found it on Google Maps and just heading in now. Uh, probably about 500 meters away. As far as I can tell, there's like a really cool mix of roads. There's a bridge there. Pretty sure the monorail's there too. This is pretty much my first fly in Chongqing and I don't really know what to expect. Oh, that's totally over there. G'day guys, Tills20 here and welcome back to Sichuan Province. Today I'm going to be working on the first of many interchanges of this city. So like I said in the last episode, I want there to be a big focus on road layouts and um, moving a huge amount of people in multiple directions. Uh, the roads are very important in this city and I want them to look a very particular way, um, as you can probably tell by the intro of this video i am really interested in the types of um, interchanges that they have in china uh, they're just uh, like uh, out of this world they're so insane and usually i don't like to create interchanges in city skylines look and to be honest that hasn't really changed i still don't really enjoy it but the end product is truly awesome and you'll see it in the cinematics at the very end and um, I'll be working around this area for quite a while um, detailing it and adding in shops and um, bits and pieces and I'll also talk a little bit about what this area is going to be for in a little while but um, basically this episode I really just wanted to familiarize myself with these um, new custom roads that I'm using so these aren't the vanilla roads that come with city skylines these are um, ones that I've downloaded from the workshop they're by someone called Amamalia I believe I'm still probably pronouncing that wrong but he's got um well they've got a bunch of really detailed and amazing roads um, mostly they're highways and they're all based on Chinese roads and they really are I mean they work so well and they have they really fit the theme they're just so tricky to use they take me ages there's a lot I'm not going to show you in this time lapse um, I delete a lot of footage that you know basically me pulling out my hair trying to figure out how these things work and um, a scary part about this as well is that I didn't know if it was going to work so I'm really just dragging roads and connecting them up and they look like they don't work and then um, I think it might have been probably about halfway through this time lapse, through all this work that I was doing, and I started panicking, thinking, oh my god, I've just put in like five, seven hours of work trying to get this interchange to work, and if I unpause the game and nothing moves, or the vehicles glitch out and go in the wrong directions, um, I probably would have thrown the computer out the window. Thankfully, I unpaused the game and everything just works beautifully like it's amazing how well these interchanges work when you get the hang of the roads so yeah tricky I finally get my head around it um, I've done like a little bit more work since building this and um, it does get a lot easier but um yeah you'll see a little bit of uh, you probably can sense the frustration <laughs> in this tutorial uh, so in this time lapse um, as I'm trying to navigate and plus there's a lot of roads to use so um you know each road serves a different purpose and you generally you can't just use the same road throughout the entire interchange you got to um, kind of mix them up so that they fit up and look it's not perfect so there's some bits that don't totally work um, I try to hide a couple of things which you'll see me do and um, I also like I said before I work around this area over the next couple of weeks and um, detail it up and it really just looks the part <laughs> when it finally gets there um, so this area, this area is going to be mostly industrial. Um, it's going to be a bit of a industry meets suburb um, kind of place. Um, it's probably not one particular suburb, but it's probably the uh, the, the area where two suburbs meet, is, which is what I'm trying to say. Um, so uh, 
really don't want a huge amount of industry around so this is like close to where the downtown is um, this is close to the heart of the city this is um, the main um, like this area that I'm working in is also the main district for the commercial so it's um it's going to be mostly the skyline around this area Around the coastline though, um, it will be a bit of a mix of industry and this particular spot is mostly going to be industrial. So that gives you a bit of a sense of the type of area that we're working in. Um, very similar to where I was actually um, taken inspiration from. This area is mostly industrial, but um, it's really just like on the banks of the river and it looks like as well that they're trying to um, gentrify it a little bit by changing up the way that the coastline looks too um, so yeah so I end up like taking a little bit of inspiration from that but I'll probably um, do sim something similar um, in other locations too um, if you ever notice as well uh, I am taking inspiration from Chongqing but I'm actually going completely on my own um, tangent I've made a really um, conscious decision to not have the same right the same road layout as Chongqing because I really didn't want to um, feel like I had to copy it or I, you know, recreate certain areas, um, and it also it gets you stuck. So I remember when I did Border Town, I'd get really stuck um, in spots, and then I look at Google Earth, and then I just end up copying El Paso. Um, whereas in this series, I've made a really conscious effort to make the roads and the rivers and the mountains all in different locations. So then I really have to take the inspiration from what I'm looking at and then um, turn it into something of my own which I can guarantee that's something that's happening because um, I've already built a bunch of stuff so like I said this interchange is meant to be very complex very very merry <laughs> very complicated uh, it's not meant to make a hell of a lot of sense to be honest I was really trying not to get too hung up about where the roads are gonna go and if this uh, highway is connected to this part I was really just going you know what let's just connect up these roads and see what happens it works it works I don't, I don't know how it does it but it actually works I think because I'm gonna have a lot of different um, areas that are like this uh, there's always gonna be good opportunities for cars to find a direct route to that location um, and I also want to see quite a bit of traffic. I don't really want it to just be this squeaky clean, um, beautifully running uh, road network. I want to see a bit of traffic banking up. I'm going to turn off the despawn. I don't want to see any cars despawning. I just want to see everything just working as it should, as it would in a real city. This area seems to work quite nicely. Um, but I, I do have to hide quite a lot of the imperfections that I end up doing. Um, let me know if you end up trying out some of these roads because they are truly amazing I haven't really seen anyone else um, play with these. Um, they're a little bit of a hidden gem to be honest I didn't know anything about them until I um, a real deep search in the Steam Workshop Just scouring for ages trying to find assets and then um, I just stumbled upon them But I'm pretty sure there's only like there's very limited pictures for each road and I think some of it's in Chinese so it's really just um it's hard to figure out or if so hard to find these roads um but I've lived them I've lived them I've linked them all in the description below oh my god words aren't coming out of my mouth probably but um yeah I would really like to know if you guys end up playing around with them or if you have played around with them you can send me some pictures on discord if you want to or tag me in anything on twitter uh I've pretty much figured out the general basis of the roads now and um, now I'm just trying to figure out the last little bits and um, trying to also figure out where exactly where these roads are going to be going. So you can also see there's a road that goes um, into the tunnel down below. That's actually going to cut down the, um, the center of the downtown. There'll probably be some roads that snake up into um, some of the roads leading into the downtown but that's mostly going to cut across so if you're looking for a fast uh, exit or, in, or basically trying to get across the other side of the river then you take that road and totally bypass the downtown and there's gonna be a few roads like that um, in fact there's two bridges that um, are almost practically identical uh, they're actually the same model of um, the bridge that actually sits in Chongqing. I uh, love these bridges so much and um, same creator of these roads, he ended up 
getting in touch and helping me out and designing these bridges. Uh, like I said before, I don't really want to have all the same assets as Zhongqing, but um, those were a definite asset that I really wanted. But um, yeah, there's a, quite a few roads that just completely bypass the downtown. Um, and there's also like a lot of roads that, uh, roads slash highways that snake around the riversides. And I plan for that to be mostly a road, so there will still be houses connected up. But I also plan for it to be a little bit of a highway. So a lot of these roads actually act as highways and roads, uh, and so streets I should be saying. Because um, there's still a lot of houses and buildings still attached to these highways and there will also be intersections so there won't always be like an interchange like I'm building right now. Uh, this is very much the case as well in China, uh, very much the case in every country but I um, yeah, really don't want to just to have like oh this is a highway and there's no other um, buildings or um, road connections to it besides interchanges. Um, instead I wanted there to be like a real mix um, and these roads as well actually you can you can tell that these are highways, but they also allow you to plot buildings onto them as well. So the top part of this interchange, this is a uh, very obscure roundabout, I guess. Uh, I'm going to come back to this. I'm not finished it, but I just wanted to uh, get the road connections accurate for the time being, um, at least the roads leading onto the interchange. So there's quite a lot of one-way streets and a lot of roundabouts, they're not really roundabouts, they're, they're kind of just one direction of traffic, but they're definitely not round. And this is not round and I um, kind of want to keep it not round too. And there'll be multiple different roads attached to it and all in the center here will be buildings and all around it will be buildings too. So it looks very unusual for the time being, but um, eventually it's going to look fairly detailed and it'll blend in and a lot of areas as well will um, also have this effect. Um, yeah, but I'm not really going to detail in this episode. I, I am beginning to place down a couple of trees and um, fix up some bits and pieces, um, particularly around this um, roundabout down here that's really bad. Um, some really awful parts attached to this uh, but I don't really do too much detail work in this episode I really just wanted to play with these roads and see how uh, useful they are and see if they work with um, this context which I can safely say they do next episode is uh, the same as in I don't detail next episode I'm purely just amping up the population because I um, I really want this city to be a functional city from like the get-go I don't really want it to just be um, roads and like half a suburb for you know six weeks. I really want this to feel like a city from the very start so we're going to really just jump straight into it and um, build that city and it's purely there for functionality and it's not there for for good. A lot of the areas, pretty much every area that I build in the next episode is planned to be redeveloped into something more detailed. So um, yeah get ready for that it's pretty um it's pretty epic how much work we get done um but like i said as well in the last episode uh chongjing is like crazy when it comes to uh the amount of trees and amount of foliage that are around here there's like vines climbing up these highways and there's uh trees they seem to be like a lot of natural naturally grown trees like they're not planted um they just seem to build all these interchanges and highways and uh, buildings all the way around these uh, these types of uh, shrubbery and it's kind of weird it's a, it's a really strange place it um sort of feels a bit like somewhere like Thailand or Indonesia where you get like a quite a jungly sort of area but um, it's just like a full-blown city um, I'm sure a lot of places are like this but I haven't really seen anything quite like it before um, let me know if you've seen places that um, are similar um, yeah, but it's really quite amazing and I really want to capture that too. So I'm going to be going pretty hardcore with the trees. Obviously not in every area, but the types of trees that I'm choosing are less of the planted type and more of the grown, like just wild, wild bush type. 
Um, but yeah, you can see me just fixing up a bit of the interchange. So I'm using ploppable asphalt mods to um, just cover up a couple of areas that weren't working and placing down my own decals. Uh, works totally fine and it, at first I was like, oh man, we're gonna have a lot of trouble here because there's a lot of imperfections, but it works out totally fine. And um, you'll see in the cinematics that everything flows and everything works. Um, they're pretty much just around the corner too. This one's a slightly shorter episode, but um, on the weekends you'll be watching an episode that'll be at a normal, um, a normal size. But guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Do let me know what you think of this interchange, and if you think you can um, suggest anything else or add anything else, then yeah, let me know. But that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.